before I sell things, you gotta know the difference between main account and trading account. Here's main account and here's trading account. So um, if I wanna switch vice versa, I just click on the trading or I click on main. Okay, and the margin, like margin features and so on, they are all related about the trading. But my purpose of showing you this trading market is not to trade, but I just want, want to be able to sell or buy or withdraw, which means transfer to another, um, like a, the trading market or exchange market to, to be able to sell. So this time I will just skip all those things and which I don't even know how to use them. I will use main and trading. So for trading, what is trading? What's the purpose of trading? Just remember two things. Trading is for buying and selling. Which means, let's say I want to buy some coins or I want to sell some coins which means I go to trading. Somebody say, hey, um, I need more KOK. Can you sell your KOK to my KuCoin or something like that? And let's pretend that I have enough KOK that I need to sell or I need to use some cash. So I need to sell KOK. Then I say, okay. Then that's the time I withdraw my KOK. It's not transferring my KOK. It's withdraw on KuCoin. Do not look for the word transfer, but it's look, but the use the word called withdraw. All right. So again, trading is about buying and selling. Rest of the other thing, are, um, let's say I, my trend, my KOK, which it has, uh, been came from the KOK platform to KuCoin. Let's say it has arrived. All right, let's just pretend. And let's just pretend that I want to sell this KOK. Then what's my next step is, I said the trading is for selling and buying. Then you see right now my KOK is in main account. And what did I say about main account? It's everything else except for selling and buying. So what is that supposed to mean? Means if my KOK is in, in main account, am I going to be able to sell my KOK? The answer is no. Then how am I going to be able to sell my KOK? Then I need to transfer my KOK, which is in main account to trading account and how do i do that my main account kok is 100 percent i click on kok all right and when you look at on the bottom it says transfer deposit withdraw deposit means you want to uh, deposit the kok to here you want to deposit um, maybe a KOK from KOK platform to KuCoin. That's called deposit. Or let's say if you want to withdraw, if you want to send your KOK to someone else's wallet, KOK wallet, or someone else's KuCoin KOK wallet, then you click withdraw. All right. But here you check this transfer button transfer button means on here that your KOK is in main account which means if you want to sell KOK in main account is it possible which is not possible in order to sell KOK you need to transfer your KOK to trading account by clicking um, by clicking how much? For example, I click, OK, 
Okay, sorry, again. Um, my KOK is in main account. So I click KOK and I click transfer. Oops, I click transfer. And then it will say right now you are, your KOK is in main account, but everything will be transferred to trading or maybe you click how much that you want, how, how many KOK you want to transfer. So let's say um, I want to transfer maybe 10 KOK, maybe 10 KOK, and I click confirm, or let's say 20 KOK. I click 20 KOK and click confirm. Then what's going to happen is my KOK, which was in main account, or you know what, okay, let me instead of doing 10 K OK, I'm just going to click all. I will click all. Then what's going to happen is it will show me the history here saying my K OK has been sent to the trading account. All right. So here I exit out. Then when you check my main of my KOK remaining is only 8%. Actually, no, sorry. My KOK remaining is 0%. And one is 8%. Means I have some other coin, which is Tether. So what that means is all my KOK, uh, which was in main account has been transferred to trading's account. That's why I do not have KOK in main account anymore. All my KOK has been transferred to trading account. All right. So now I said, what is trading? Trading is about selling and buying. And am I ready to sell my KOK? Oh, yes. Because my KOK is in trading account right now. So I click K OK. And then also I click K OK USDT. Then this thing will pop up. And let's say I want to sell K OK. All right. Then it will say limit. Then, you know, limit means you put a certain amount that you want to sell K OK. For example, let's say, um, you want to sell KOK at hundred a uh, one dollar and maybe sixty cents. And right now, maybe let's say KOK is one dollar fifty five cents. But when you when our KOK hits one dollar sixty cents, and when you place an order, means when our KOK hits one dollar sixty cents, it will sell a certain amount that you place an order by saying. I want to sell like maybe 10 percent or 100 k okay whatever but this time um let's say i want to sell all my k okay then i click limit i mean not the limit i click market here i click this button and then i click market market means you are selling your k okay at whatever uh, price so click confirm and then um, let's say I want to sell 100% KOK or whatever amount I want to sell. And I maybe let's say I want to sell like um, maybe 20 KOK or whatever, or maybe click 100%, whatever, you know? And then I click sell KOK. And let's pretend I did sell my KOK. Then what's gonna happen is, oh, just one second. In my trading account, I will end up with Tether. Why Tether? I sold my KOK and how come I have Tether instead of cash? In 
in this type of trading market, that's why we gotta have Coinbase or crypto or whatever. Because in this type of market, money is tethered. So as soon as uh, we sell KOK, KOK's money will turn into tether. So here, here's the next choice. So let's say um, that you want to save some fee, all right? And then you want to, you, you cannot use Coinbase because you live in New York. And you need some alternation about how to sell KOK or how to make cash with very tiny bit of fee. Then this time, what you want to, what you maybe want to do is you search for Stella, which is X L M or you type Stella. So I typed in X L M, right? Then X L M popped up. All right, so you click Stella and make sure I am in trading market, right? And make sure that I have Tether in this trading market account. Without having Tether, you cannot buy any other coins. Why? Because Tether is money here. So I click on um, Stella, which is XLM. I click on it. And wait a minute. Um, I um, clicked the wrong button. Okay. So again, I click on Tether. I mean, I'm at the Stella. I click on it. And then I click on um, the, I have to select that Stella USDT, Stella KCS, Stella ETH, or Stella BTC. And why did I pick Stella? Because Stella is one of the cheapest coin right now. So, with the tether, with tether which I sold, which I um, gained by selling KOK, if I purchase Ted uh, Stella, that means I can buy a whole lot of Stella. All right. And after buying a whole lot of Stella, if I transfer my Stella to either crypto or Coinbase Pro or Coinbase or any other trading market and sell there. All right, and then after you sell it, that transfer the fiat currency to your bank, then that's how you end up with less fee.